Hola amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Rally Boy and today I want to show you how to cook a great seafood paella. We're going to need some good extra virgin olive oil, squid, some Nora peppers which I'm going to show you a great substitute later on in case you can't find these peppers, saffron, chopped garlic, tomatoes, smoked paprika, good salt, clams, Spanish rice, paella rice, prawns, langoustine and a great shellfish stock which I've shown you how to make in another of my videos. Before we start cooking I'm going to infuse all of the saffron in the shellfish stock. I'm gonna bring it back into the kitchen and leave it in low heat until I need it. First we're gonna pour a generous amount of good extra virgin olive oil and we're gonna fry the gnocchi peppers. All I've done to them, take a look, it's to see them because they are so dry and crispy all you need to do is to break them down and the seeds fall apart. I'm just going to put it in the oil and sort of very gently fry them for about a couple of minutes and then I'm going to blend them with these two tomatoes in my kitchen. If you don't have Nora, you can use these dried pepper flakes that you can find in any ethnic shop. Place your paella pan over medium to high heat and pour your extra virgin olive oil followed by the squid. We're gonna cook it for a good five minutes before we make a little gap in the middle. And we're gonna gently fry our langoustines for one minute on each side and we're gonna set them aside for a little later. We don't want them to overcook. Continue frying your squid for another five minutes, season with salt and make another gap in the middle again. Add your finely chopped garlic and fry for 30 seconds and follow straight with your sweet smoked paprika. If you haven't used the Nora peppers and you're using dried pepper flakes, that will be the time to add them as well, otherwise just avoid altogether. Pour your tomato blended with the Nora peppers so that we stop the sweet paprika from actually burning and stir it for a good 2-3 minutes or until the tomato starts splitting. Add your Spanish paella rice and again keep stirring constantly all throughout the pan for another two minutes to make sure our rice sears really well. Pull your hot saffron infused shellfish stock, give it a good stir, bring the heat up to this highest setting and let it boil for 10 minutes. Cooking paellas over the barbecue is a whole different beast. So if you're brave enough to do it like I'm doing in this video, I'll recommend you to use charcoal uh, at the beginning so that you have a very controlled medium heat. And then when you add your stock that you need a lot of intensity, add the small branches. 10 minutes are gone. And now is the time to add your prawns, your langoustines because otherwise they will overcook if you have added them earlier on. So depending on which shellfish you are using, you add it either later or earlier. But for prawns, it'll take about four or five minutes. Langoustines, even less, three, four, five minutes as well, depending on the size. And now I'm just going to add some more clams and finish it off with a good looking langoustines on the shell and on the head. With the head. As our langoustines are halfway cooked, we just want them to warm up and by putting them on top, they will be cooked to perfection. As well, now it's the time to lower down the heat so that the stock reduces down slowly and it starts forming that beautiful soccer rat. If you're cooking with coals, I recommend you to scatter them all around and even pour a little bit of water so that you cook to the minimum heat. This paella is ready and I can't wait to dig in. I know it's gonna be an explosion of shellfish flavor. I hope you enjoy the recipe. I hope you give it a go. If you do, please share it with me. Give me some comments on the comment box below or share it in social media. All the best and see you again soon. Buen provecho. If you enjoy the video, please like it, share it and subscribe. I think we've enjoyed that. <laughs> mm -hmm.